Hi everyone, and welcome back to the CatFX channel. Today, we're diving into a super useful technique for your AutoCAD projects. Sometimes, when working in AutoCAD, we need to add real-world data like existing buildings, roads, or topography. But, what if our current data is outdated, or we don't have access to a new survey? Hiring a survey team can be expensive and time-consuming. So, in this video, I'll show you how to quickly and accurately import updated data from Google Earth directly into AutoCAD, complete with real-world coordinates. Stay with the video until the end to get complete knowledge of how to do this. Don't forget to subscribe to CADFX if you haven't already. More useful AutoCAD techniques are coming your way. Let's get started. <laughs> This is an AutoCAD file containing topographic data of the junction, which has already been surveyed. However, this file only includes road-related features. But I also need to include a few nearby buildings and the surrounding paddy field in this drawing, using data from Google Earth. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add these three buildings and the paddy field area directly into the AutoCAD drawing. In this survey, the SLD99 coordinate system was used. Now, coordinate systems can differ from one country to another and in large countries, even different regions might use different ones. Choosing the right coordinate system is really important when working with AutoCAD, especially if your project depends on precise geographic data. SLD99 is the one we're using here, and it works well for this area. All right. Now I'm going to create the objects we need in Google Earth. I've already made a junction KML file from the AutoCAD file to help visualize the location more easily. Now I'll create a new folder called New Data to keep all our new elements organized. Then I use the Polygon tool to draw the first building and name it Building 1. It's important to create these objects carefully to achieve better accuracy. However, keep in mind that this method is not 100% accurate compared to data collected using professional survey instruments. So, if your project requires high precision data, it's always recommended to use a proper land survey conducted with accurate survey tools. Okay, I've created building one and changed its color to red for better visibility. It's important to place the objects as accurately as possible to ensure we get correct details later. Next, I'll create Building 2 and Building 3 using the same method. I use different colors for each one to make them easier to identify. I've created only three buildings for this demonstration. You can use other tools like Path and Placemark depending on your requirements, for example, to create roads or mark specific features. After finishing the buildings, next I'll create the paddy field area. For this, I'll also use the Ed Polygon tool. I won't be drawing the entire paddy field, just a small section to demonstrate how it's done in Google Earth. I'll name this polygon paddy field. Now, we need to create at least two reference points to accurately position our newly added objects in the AutoCAD drawing. To do this, I'll use the Placemark tool to add to points, named P1 and P2. I'll then copy their longitude and latitude values into a notepad file. We'll use these coordinates later for conversion and alignment in AutoCAD. Creating reference points is very important when working with data from Google Earth. These points serve as fixed locations that help us accurately align and position our new objects within the existing AutoCAD drawing. By using at least two known points with real-world coordinates, we can scale, rotate, and place the imported features correctly ensuring everything lines up with the surveyed data in AutoCAD. Let's create a reference line in Google Earth using the path tool starting from reference point 1 and ending at reference point 2. I've named this line SREF. This reference line is very important when importing the data into AutoCAD. I'll change its color to green for better visibility and slightly increase the thickness. OK, now everything is complete. Let's save this data as a KML file using Save Place As, and I'll name it New Data. Now, we need to convert our Google Earth data to AutoCAD. First, I'm going to convert the saved KML file into a CSV file. To do this, 
I'm using a free converter website, nisionv.com. It's completely free. I simply select the file type as KML, choose CSV as the output format, and then click Convert. Once the process is complete, I can download the converted CSV file. Now, let's open the CSV file we just created. I'll prepare the data so it's ready to use in AutoCAD. In a previous video, I already explained this method in detail, so if you're not familiar with it, please check that video. I've added the link in the description. Once the data is ready, I simply copy it, go to AutoCAD, type the PL command to start a polyline, and paste the data to create the geometry. Now the polylines have been created on the correct original coordinates. Next, I need to remove any unwanted lines. To do that, I use the break command and delete the unnecessary segments. All right, that part is complete as well. Now let's verify our coordinates in Google Earth to make sure they match what we've drawn in AutoCAD. Okay, the coordinates in both AutoCAD and Google Earth match perfectly. Now we need to position the Google Earth generated data at its correct location and real world scale. To do that, we first need to recreate the original reference point we used in Google Earth. This requires converting the Google Earth coordinates to our original AutoCAD coordinate system. To convert the coordinates, I used a free website called epsg.io. This site supports coordinate conversions for many countries and a wide range of coordinate systems. It's very helpful for transforming Google Earth coordinates into your local AutoCAD system especially when working with different coordinate systems like WGS84 UTM or local grid references. You can find the coordinate system for almost any country using this website. For example, if you're working with Australia, there are many coordinate systems available. In my case, my drawing is based on the Sri Lankan coordinate system, so I searched for and selected the SLD99 coordinate system. Now I'll convert our Google Earth coordinates using the psg.io website. We already created two points in Google Earth point 1 and point 2. I got their coordinates from the point properties panel and then converted them into my AutoCAD drawings coordinate system. Using that data, I drew a polyline in AutoCAD, which will serve as our reference line. Now we're at the final step of this task. To complete it, I'll create a new layer for the data we generated from Google Earth. I name the layer new data and change its color to green for better visibility. I've moved the new objects to the layer we just created. Next, I scale the newly imported objects to make them easier to control. I type SC in the command line to activate the scale command, and then scale the objects by a factor of 500. Now, we need to place our new objects in the correct location and at the correct scale. To do this, we'll use the two reference lines we created earlier. I use the align command for this. Simply type L in the command line to activate the align tool. Now, we need to specify the first source point and its corresponding destination point, followed by the second point and its match. After that, AutoCAD will ask whether to scale the object based on the alignment points. I type Y for yes, and that's it. Everything is now complete. Now you can see that everything aligns perfectly between Google Earth and our AutoCAD drawing. This is one method you can use to create objects and features in Google Earth and transfer them into AutoCAD all without using any additional software. In this tutorial, we learned how to create reference data in Google Earth and accurately transfer it into AutoCAD. We covered how to generate and convert coordinates, create reference lines, scale and align objects correctly, and ensure everything matches between both platforms. This method is simple, effective, and doesn't require any additional software. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to CADFX for more tutorials on AutoCAD, Google Earth, and lots of other CAD tips and tricks. If this video helped you, give it a like, share it with others, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.